Yo, 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 this is the Lost Ones Podcast. I'm back with my boy Ruler again. What's good? What's good? Man, Ruler, bro. What's good with you, my boy? Man, I'm all right, bro. That that PNB, that PNB rock shit kind of got me, but I'm cool. Man, listen, we're gonna, before we get into that, I'm going to say, me personally, bro, I've been taking a little break with social media. Um, I been did that. I did that I like deleted, what two weeks ago. I deleted uh, Instagram off my phone, Facebook off my phone. Next is Twitter. Twitter, I'll just be seeing different things, and I just just don't comment on it. But like, yeah. he, niggas be needing that break, man. It's just I feel like the social media be just it's just a lot, bro. My uh, me and my sister was talking about this shit. We said social media is um. And how we break it down, it's 80%, it's 80% like your life. And then the other 20% is your reality. And like you spend 80% of the time on social media and then you forget about that 20% of your own reality. That's more potent than that 80%. And I like when she said that, I'm like, damn, that actually makes sense. Cause we spend like a lot of time, like even at work, we spend a lot of time just on social media, just you know, scrolling and shit, bro. And we don't even think about what the fuck is going on around us. Well, we do, Man. but it's only 20%. And that 20% need to, you know, that needs to be higher than the 80% you spend on social media. And that's why I took a break. So I'm like, bro, I actually felt that. Like, I'm spending more time on social media than reality. Then we seeing different things that we're not supposed to see. And that's triggering us, especially with the PNB Rock situation. Yeah, that's um, tough. I want to speak on that. Not just him dying, you know, rest in peace and everything, but just like the after effect of that. Like, like me personally, bro, it's crazy that they I understand. Let me just say this. Let me say this. This is how I was saying it on live. She, the, the girlfriend definitely got to take some accountability because he got interviews in the last few weeks. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's rewind. So what would the girl do? Cause I'm I'm just now hearing um, that she, I guess she either set him up or some shit. Like that's what I'm hearing. So she said she put a picture on Instagram, you know, posting the waffle, you know, saying they at the waffle house, you know, harmless, like very, very harmless. Mm-hmm. And not a, but 20 minutes later, niggas went in there trying to rob him for his chain. He wasn't going. And they shot him like twice in the chest. And all she did was just post that they was just at uh Waffle House. Yeah, but a few weeks ago in interviews with academics, he was saying like how he be trying to like move different, tell his girl like not to do certain things and move accordingly and shit. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying like she do kind of get some accountability just for being so careless. Where did he uh was he from where he got shot at? It was in LA. Is he from there? Nah. That's why I don't think so. That's and it's just like and they and social media is just like just blatantly disrespecting the girl. The rapper saying like she gotta die. Like I'm like, this is this man's girl, the mother of his child. I don't think she just blatantly just set him up. It was a harmless picture. And like I think people gotta stop being too deep with trying to blame a person for being like a hawk. Once again, though, it's careless. It was careless on her end, but just. How about we blame like the people? I mean, was hurt. it was it really careless though? I mean, like, I I look at celebrities as just regular ass people, bro. At the end of the day, like that's like my regular. girl posting posting saying, Definitely. "Hey, we at we at Waffle House, bro." And let's say I'm a celebrity, bro. I'm gonna exp- you know, like I don't I don't think that's careless. I think that's more or less like she, you know, I don't know, like you a celebrity, like, but like you still a human being, like you know, like. N- for yeah, real, but like, I understand, bro, but you know, like, people I, be I out here. One time, I remember one time, bro. I seen Bron, like Bron was at uh, he was at uh Burger Fi, like it just opened up in um Falls, and niggas was taking pictures. They was taking videos of this nigga. He was just trying to eat with his wife, bro, and his kids. Like this I nigga's understand. a whole yeah. I understand, but stuff like that be happening. People be having certain agendas, though. It can happen to anybody with some type of status, and or even the niggas who just look like they got money. You feel me? They could just be easy targets. That's why. And like, not everybody can do that, though. Like, Joe Schmo on the street who ain't got nobody looking for him, he would be like, oh, man, don't do this. Like, I, I can't live my life in fear like that. 
I'm not gonna do that. That's I feel like if you live your life in fear, how you be able to live, go outside your house. Yeah, like no, that. listen, bro. If but I'm a I ain't gonna lie, but I'm at the same time, free. but by I am too, but you still gotta be aware of where of you your at your surroundings so. and understand, like, especially if he had that talk with her already, like, hey, we can't don't post our exact location, but whatever the case may be, if he had that talk with her and she still ended up doing it and it came to his demise, then yeah, that is kind of yeah. careless on your end. Now, see, if I had a if I had a talk and be like, all right, like don't be posting, you know, like if that was the case, yeah, like for real, if I had a talk with you, no, I think like this, okay. There's nothing wrong with posting, but like, let me I take my headphones out so she can hear you. No, too. no, no, that, yeah, I, I hear. Her. Nothing wrong with posting. Nothing wrong with the posting. But if I have a conversation with you about, hey, I, 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 I got a certain stature, and I, um, you know, we got to move accordingly. I wait to be me, then post it. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I'm saying. But if I had that discussion with you about well, moving accordingly, like and, do, and wait yeah, yeah, when I was for reference or whatever, what I do or whatever. Yeah. Cause he like, had that, yeah. he was on the interview with academics saying like he had that talk where he, how he be like trying to move accordingly. Yeah, yeah and, and it's crazy because you know it's just disgusting for her, bro. We gotta talk about the census, the census violence that be going on, bro. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like this one was just point. Like, I mean. Really, all of the, all of the deaths that happened over the past couple of years, like X, Ju, well, Juice was kind of his own doing, but X, uh, Nipsey, um, like all oh, just yeah, everybody, Lil like Key, that. like senseless as fuck. Senseless, like even with Nipsey, niggas had his own store with his people, his in a, own in a, store, bro, and the snitch killed him. Like Nipsey hit me, Nipsey hit me out of all of them. That still hit me to this day. That was one of my favorite rappers. I think it's just it's come to the point where stop it. It's just coming to the point where it's like is there's no motives. It's people just killing people just for absolutely no reason, no repercussions, no. They don't think about it. No. Like, it's like they really don't. It's like they really don't think about what's next. It's like they kill somebody, bro. Like, like you said on your live for a body. Like, does that make you proud? Like, what was the point of killing PNB Rock? Like, if I could sit down and talk to this person, I'd be like, why? Like, what was the point? Like, what did you accomplish from killing this man, bro? Absolutely nothing. You still ain't shit. And I would argue PNB Rock actually got more more clout because of that. You still ain't shit, bro. Because that's normally what happens when rappers die. What happens? They they blow the streams out of their music. But that's not authentic to me. It's not. I've been listening to PNB Rock since like 2015 ish. But you know what's crazy? What's crazy? <laughs> that's how record labels make their money. Oh. Yep. yep. And I guess was, who? Uh, guess I who he was? Video. Guess who he was signed to? Empire. Same label King King Von was on. Dolph was on. All I know is that X, I X. D Smoke is good, bro. Because D Smoke is signed to that label. It's a fucked up label, bro. It's fucked up. I mean, you seen the you seen the show? Empire, the show. I mean, it's it's pretty much like the show, bro. Niggas is dying. It's fucked up in inside the label. You got a shady ass A and R like shade. Like it's all it's all fucked. They That's have insurance policy, so they labels, bro. They waiting for these do. rappers to make these certain content to die and just get the money for it. Exactly. And you want to know? You want to know something crazy? All these rappers had died. If you know this, bro, they didn't hit their peak yet. Like PMB, like he wasn't like big. But, like, niggas knew who he was. Now that he's dead or now that I would argue he got set up, like, not by his girl but by the label, uh, mm. now now they're going to start pulling money from him, just like they did with Lil' Key, just like they did with Jay, just like they did with X, just like they did with Juice. 
Lil Baby, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, or whatever the fuck, whoever is uh the owner of or the CEO of that label, he ain't shit, bro. Lil Baby, bro, he ain't shit. He really ain't shit. Just world. Yeah, he ain't shit. I, 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 he ain't shit. He ain't. Why, bro? Like, I just feel like he just wasn't like that nigga when it came to like juice like when it came to his label bro like it was like he was trying to push juice like you know he was trying to like squeeze money out of juice for real he's a rapper. like if you watch if you watch the doc bro like it, that's really what it looked like to me like little little bibby wasn't even there it was really all juice little bibby only came when juice blew up when you when you're a rapper turn executive you ain't shit. I, I don't. I don't believe I'm, that. Like, I. I just. I don't know. Like, like I. I can say I'm a rapper and I'm gonna turn executive, but I'm definitely not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna squeeze the money out of them and then drop them. Like, that's normally what happens. Like, didn't they drop a Juice World album and they wasn't supposed to? I want to say yeah. Yep. How many of his albums came out after he died? Like two? I I want to say two. I want to say he dropped, because it was his recent one that he dropped, and there was another. No, it might have been three. When did he die? 2020? 2019? I want to say two. Two albums. I just don't fuck with major labels, bro. Like, the industry. See, I can't say I don't fuck with the industry because, like, the industry, you could be a part of the industry, but you don't have to be, like, mainstream. Nah. nah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, nah. I don't agree with that, bro. You still you know, gotta be someone part of their I, I, I kind of I kinda agree with that. So I can name some, some rappers that are doing pretty good that aren't really mainstream. Oh. Uh, Burner, Burner's and Pacino, Shoddy Boy. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? The Lido. And these are these are like I mean y'all don't know them because they're not mainstream. Uh-huh. Stally. You want to eat it? I'm happy already. Burner has industry connections. Who else? You said. And Pacino, Shoddy Boy. I don't know who neither one of them niggas are. Because they're not mainstream, but they're big, though. Like, they're big. Like, Am Pacino roll with Burner. Shoddy Boy roll with, roll with Am Pacino and Burner. I mean, Shoddy, Shoddy's a little underground-ish. Like, back, he's more Akron. Back to back, back wrong with it. Yeah, they're not part of major labels, but... But they still, they still industry niggas though. Like, bro, like, like they still, they still a part of the industry. They just not mainstream. Like, they still make most of their money or majority of their money off their music, their streams. They're they're comfortable. They're doing like shows, you know, like Ace Hood. Like, I just watched like a video on Ace Hood. They said like he's doing pretty good. He's still doing shows. Same with uh, Lloyd. That's because DJ Khaled blackballed him. Well, yeah, but even still, you know, he's still doing good. Like he said, he ain't complaining. Uh, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd Banks from G Unit, he said, like he, you know, he's still doing shows. You got Hobson. I mean, Hobson's pretty garbage, you, but you people, be he got a good fan got a, base. He got a fan base. Are you fucking? Yeah, it's about having your own personal fan base. I mean, you don't gotta be mainstream. You just gotta have your own. You know, your own. Now, fan when base. he up there, is he singing Lloyd Banks songs or he singing singing songs? No. Yeah, he, has, he has he has tapes. He has tapes. Give albums. me one Lloyd Banks song that's not featuring Fifty Cent or not, or Young Buck. Go. Wow, that's disrespectful. Young <laughs> Buck had a nice little run too. That's don't not you. the point. Buck, Buck, Buck had a nice run. Started bro. wanna ride with me. Let your head down. But see, that's the problem. But see, thug, but see, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me let me debunk that. that. Let me debunk that. that. Was Buck. See, that's the problem. See, y'all, y'all. The only reason hey, why y'all don't respect him is because he's not mainstream. Oh, Young Buck song, yes. He had he had some bangers. Don't do that. Yo, the only reason y'all don't what? respect him, every the only reason you don't G-Unit, respect him is because he's not mainstream. Every nigga in G Unit except for Tony, even Tony Yeo, they had solo career. Tony Yeo, yeah. 
Well, the game? How you gonna talk about G- Young Buck but not the game? Game, yeah. He was a part of G Unit. <laughs> but the game got the yeah. half of the game's cut is this with 50 Cent, Robot 50 Cent, no, Feature 50 Cent. So stop. Game's first oh, album was that. like G Unit. Banks, a lot of Lloyd Banks' best songs don't have 50 Cent. A lot of What's the that? game's best songs have 50 Cent. You can't do that. That was disrespectful. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was Beamer, so disrespectful. Beamer, yeah, Beamer, 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 that's the only reason what? I listen to the game. He just said Beamer, Benz, and Bentley. Stop huh? playing. Listen. Lloyd Banks. Sing it. How I go? Beamer, Beamer Benz, and Bentley. That's Larry. Beamer, Benz, Benz, and Bentley. Yeah, that's Lloyd Banks. Stop playing. Yeah. You just don't even know the word. But yeah, you see, but you see, like, the only reason why he don't get that proper <laughs> You're respect is because he's not, he's not a part of the industry. Like, he's not a part of mainstream yes, he is. Nah, bro. He's not, Lloyd he's not up there with. Bro, he's, he's not he's mainstream. He's in one of the greatest music groups ever. He he had one hit, bro, and that was Beamer Benz and Bentley, and then the rest bro, of his hits were mostly. He's he has not. a large following. Man, he has he a does he don't following. he don't have a he let don't me, have let a large following. Chameleonaire is mainstream too. Now. Chameleonaire was mainstream. He was, even though he had one hit. No, Chameleonaire had. Come on, he man. Had, he had a few. He had a few. But hey, Chameleonaire sure really know. only. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. How how old are you? How how old are you not to be disrespectful? I'm 28. No, I'm 27. I'm 27. Oh my God. You and you don't you, you haven't listened. You you are age and haven't listened to wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I'm a woman. Com- no, wow. no, 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 no. Because my, my girl knows who the millionaire uh. is. Okay, so when was the millionaire have, so so as soon as he dropped after he dropped wild and dirty. Yo, was that like, was his. That was his little era. Was yes. Like, yeah, okay. that was that what was song a... after Rod and Dirty. Okay, okay. Listen, you gotta understand that that era, that era right there that we're that we're about to talk about was like one hit wonder era. Like it didn't matter. Like you had a hit, you was mainstream. Like Soldier Boy, Chameleon, Boy had them niggas oh, that did yeah. Two Step. Them niggas that did lean with it, like bro. You like, giving Soldier Boy respect, but not Lloyd Banks and, the, know, and Lloyd Young Bucks. Song. Get the fuck out. That's you crazy. You don't listen to Every... Soldier Boy either. But Soldier Boy had Kiss Me Through the Phone. He had yeah, Soulja You Boy. was not listening had... to Kiss Me Through the Stop it, bro. Stop Come on it. now. He had, I was bumping uh... that nigga Soldier though. You yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> but you bumping had, Soldier though. He had Swag Baby Girls go bow. Swag Baby Girls go bow bow bow. bow. I the girls You're, go, that nigga Soldier. Hey, no, you're corny. Bow, bow, he bow, said bow, Pretty Boy Swag. Hey like hey yeah Soldier was that nigga though. Can we stop? Come on, man. No, man. I don't want it, man. No, you're you definitely disrespectful to Lloyd Banks, though. I ain't a cap, bro. Lloyd, Lloyd, that nigga, bro. He was probably the most lyrical out of the G unit. Oh, black came to me, my bad. Yeah, he was the most lyrical out of everybody. Who? Lloyd Banks out of G unit. Hmm. Yeah, he was definitely the most lyrical. He sent a lot of the games. Uh, shit. Young Buck was he had a nice little little. Uh. That's why that's why I put fifty. You know I got you know fifty my nigga, bro. Like listen, I don't know none of them niggas. You don't know fifty, right? I know fifty cents. She watches so clank clickety clank. I was about to say, oh yeah, y'all watch Power. Yeah, we we need Raising Cannon season two to come. Not Raising Cannon. Uh, I was about to say that's out. Uh, uh, Ghost though. Uh, yeah, Force. Yeah, force. Tommy. I, I oh, know. Tommy's. Yeah, Tommy's. Tommy's got that, the yeah. best one to me so far. For sure. I don't Hands fuck down. with Tariq. I don't fuck with Tariq. Why not? Oh, I, I've been I fuck told with you. Don't. Oh, you mad? Why? He kill his father? Because he killed Ghost. You but think Ghost is Ghost dead? Ain't even dead though. He killed. I don't him. think Ghost is dead, bro. <laughs> I really don't like. I'm one of them, bro. I feel like ghosts, like nigga, killed him. Shot, nah. point, shot him point blank. Whoop. You want to know some? Did you see the cat? Was it was it an open casket? Mm-mm. Exactly. That bitch was closed. Closed captions provided by. So if it's a if it's a closed casket, bro, then you ain't see the body. How long y'all been on here? Like 20 minutes, like 15, 20 minutes. Nah, fuck that though. I think, I think, bro, you wanna know what I think? Oh my god, here we go with these shitty ass shells. When it comes to uh bro, I think I think it was all a setup, bro, to get ghosts out of the way. Like I think ghosts wanted to kind of like 
you know, like the only way for Ghost to stop doing what he was doing is for the him to fake his death. death. It was too. It was too many nigga, people that, that wanted him dead. The nigga said it from see, from episode one. He I said agree. he wanted out of the game. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's, you but see like, how hard he was trying throughout all yeah. the seasons. So he probably like the only way to get out this shit is to literally like. It seemed like every time he tried to get out, something else happens where he had to force himself back in. Mm-hmm. Oh, and like, bro, Ghost ain't stupid, bro. Like, why would he just like? Stay at the club by himself and let his son shoot him. Like he ain't stupid. Like Ghost was. So you telling me you can't the kill all these show. random motherfuckers, but you couldn't stop your son from shooting you? Exactly. You strategic so the whole show. Drake shoot him. Yes, he just let him shoot him, bro. Dude, like they had a conversation before Tariq pulled the trigger. And since we and Ghost don't come strapped. Exactly. So how, so how Ghost, did Tommy, Tommy nigga been strapped the whole season? So, how, the whole so why season. did Tommy just go up to him and just cry it out? Oh my God, Ghost, no, bro. Because, because it, everybody, it's not like he wanted okay. some people. He had him. he had to fake it. Like he had to make sure that he was everybody dead. Everybody like, knew he was dead. Yeah, that's the only way. Faking a death wound. Nah, so because if you like, notice, bro, yes, I, I guess you do. Because if you Jesus. notice, and we can we can oh, argue dude. that we can argue that he wrote the shit, oh, we, he wrote those little notes and shit before he died. But I believe that he wrote that shit like right, right, right before he died. I'm talking like he wrote it like the day before, the day of he went to the club, and then like after he died, that's when everything planned. Like Tariq going to school, all that shit. Like he knew he knew everything. Like bro, Ghost was strategic. He ain't dead, bro. Because right when his death happened, that's when Tasha lost a lot of shit. That's when Tariq had to go to school to get his money. Like, Ghost knew what the fuck he was doing. We'll see. I he hope to make Tasha pay. I, I, I hope Tariq get what he he reap what he owes. In the next I think year. I don't think, bro. I think Tariq knew. I think I think it was all part of the of Ghost's plan. I think Ghost wanted Tariq to kill him. I don't think Tariq really wanted to kill Ghost, but I think Ghost wanted him to kill him, even though he did that shit with his mom it was like okay i'm gonna kill him bro like i think it was just all part of the plan bro i think it was just all a big setup for ghosts to come back he's gonna come back in power or in tommy season one of tommy shits because you notice like they keep referencing new york you turn on the light off that's just my theory on it i don't know about y'all i hope he doesn't come hello i hope he don't do that what oh okay uh, return going to Tommy's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let, let Tommy have his own, his own schmeck. Don't I? And you know what? I feel that. I feel that <laughs> I can get with that because I, I like Tommy and what he's doing, bro. 